Can a Power Queen 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery cook your burgers then power your boat? Well, in this video we'll find out. First of all, we use an induction cooktop to make a couple of hamburgers. Then we took the Power Queen battery, put her in our little boat and with a uh, trolling motor, tried it out in the lake. Here are the results. Every item you see in this video was purchased with our own funds. We are not sponsored by anyone. Prior to getting the Power Queen battery, we used to use two 35 amp hour Mighty Max AGM batteries. We'd use one and when that one was running low on charge, we switched to the other one. For a long time, we wanted to get a lithium iron phosphate battery, but the price was out of our range until we saw a deal that came up on the Power Queen battery. There weren't many reviews online, but we thought we'd take a chance on it. And we're glad we did. This is a quality battery. How do we define quality? Well, we can give you our impressions of how the battery was delivered and the response from the company, which has been exceptional. And we'll run it through a couple of real world tests and you make your own decision. The battery arrived in a cardboard box, nicely protected. It had a user manual and uh, the bolts necessary to uh, attach the battery leads to it. We used a BM2 battery monitor. These are inexpensive, costing around $20. They work with Bluetooth. They're not as accurate as a shunt uh, device would be, but they give you the benefit of being able to uh, transmit to your phone over a distance. They're quite portable uh, and they work quite well. Our suggestion is shop around for these. We've seen them for as much as $50 and as low as $19. I believe Power Queen also makes a battery with built-in Bluetooth, but uh, we did not acquire that as it was also out of our price range. We placed the battery in a Newport Vessels trolling motor battery box, which we'll cover more later uh, in this video. And we charged it with a Noco Genius 10 um, battery charger. Noco makes great products and they stand behind them. This particular charger also serves as a 12 volt power supply, so I highly recommend it. A less expensive option is one of these high cedo battery chargers. They claim they can charge up to 20 amp. I've only seen it get up to 15. Uh, you can charge lithium, AGM lead, LiPo 4, and a repair function for lead acid batteries. They'll run at uh, three different amperages and at 12 and 24 volts. Now to answer the question, can you cook a couple of burgers using the Power Queen battery? We connected the Power Queen battery to a 1500 amp pure sign inverter, used our induction cooktop and a cast iron frying pan, and within three minutes the breaker went off on our uh, trolling motor box. It had a 60 amp breaker. So we ended up disconnecting the uh, battery from the trolling motor box and connected it directly to the inverter. Then we had no problem cooking the burgers. We then took the battery, uh, put it back in the box, put it in our small inflatable boat and it went out on the lake. No problem cooking a couple of burgers, going back out at the lake, running around for a while, coming back. We tested charging the battery from solar using a portable 10 amp MPPT solar charge controller and 200 watt polycrystalline solar panels. The charge rate as you'd expect was low so we decided to use our uh, trusty NOCO 10 battery charger to charge the battery back up so we'd have it available for cooking breakfast the next morning. We used the same induction cooktop 
but this time we had to use a cast iron trivet so it could heat the aluminum mocha pot. It worked great. Overall, I'd say this was a great success. To give you some perspective of our current system, we use two 120 amp hour deep cycle flooded lead acid batteries from Walmart. We got them because they were relatively inexpensive and within our budget. We have the same BM2 adapter as well as a shunt where we can get a very accurate measurement of uh, voltage inside both sides, the positive and the negative are fused uh, before going into our camper trailer. Outside we have a uh, connection for uh, additional external solar in addition to the 400 watts we have on the trailer of the roof. We can add an additional 200 watts of solar externally and we also have the um, 110 outlet which we uh, use to jump over to the uh, shore power when we're using the inverter. The inverter is located also in this box to keep our cable runs as short as possible. Uh, this particular box was a rescue from uh, a Jeep. It was a Jeep box that we had so this was made mostly with items we had on hand. Given how well our test turned out on the Power Queen battery, uh, what we'd like to do next is get two uh, additional 100 amp hour batteries to replace our flooded lead acid batteries and add a couple of additional solar panels. With that setup I think we'd be really well set for a boom docking and it would cover most of our power needs except the air conditioning uh, unit uh, but if we ever decided to run the air conditioning unit we do what we do now and run the uh, uh, small gas generator we have. If anyone is interested in seeing how we run the air conditioning of the 2000 watt uh, generator, please let me know down in the comments and I'll show you the soft start I designed that allows that to happen. Also, if you'd like to find out more about our trailer or about the boat or our electric bikes, uh, please also uh, ask in the comment, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and hopefully we'd make more of these videos to share some of our ideas and when we save enough money and Power Queen decides to run a nice promotion we may end up buying the two additional 100 amp hour batteries but for now with after Prime Day we are tapped out for a while. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.